Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna look at all things air blower. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so this is a regular blower. In this video, we're not gonna go into the specifics of this model or anything like that. We're gonna keep it nice and general. So what is uh, an air blower? Well, as the name suggests, it blows air. It's kind of like a, a big, powerful hair dryer. And what that does is down those one and a half inch pipes, it blows air into your hot tub, it mixes with the water in those gunite bodies, and you get a much stronger, a much more bubbly jet and a much more, I guess, hot tub experience in your tub itself. So the, the blower is kind of important. So what we're gonna look at is how we connect it and some of the other components that are really vital to make sure this blower stays in good working order. So how do we connect this to the spa pack? Well, you can see on the end of the cord here, we have, this one's a, an AMP connection, which will plug into your Balboa boxes and, and other similar models as well. If you have a different connection, that's no problem. All you've got to do is lop off the end and you can replace it with your own connector. Inside this cord, uh, there's just a regular neutral and live. Okay, so very, very simple to connect a blower. The blowers themselves vary in power. Uh, this particular one is a 900 watt. Sometimes they're measured in horsepower. Anything from one to, to two horsepower is, is totally fine for an air blower for your concrete built tubs. Remember, if you have a, your control room further away from the tub, you're gonna need a slightly stronger blower because obviously it's gonna decrease over that distance. So that's just something to bear in mind. So how do we connect a blower into the plumbing? Well, at the end of this model, you can see that I have a threaded union with a tailpiece. Quite a lot of the blowers on the market have a socket at the end. It could be one and a half inch, it could be two inch. This particular model has a 32 millimeter socket. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at exactly what we need to connect this into the plumbing. So I've removed the tailpiece from the blower and what I have here is a series of plumbing connections. I've got the the tailpiece and the union that I've removed. I have a small piece of pipe here. I have a reducing bush and I've got the all-important check valve. So what the check valve does is it actually stops water entering your blower. Obviously you do not want water in that blower. It will trip your circuit so you've got to keep water out of the blower and the way you do it is with this check valve now this is a spring-loaded check valve as you can see they are directional so you need to make sure that the air is coming into and pushing on that spring-loaded mechanism there and it will pass through and there's actually a directional arrow on the check valve as well so that's really important what the check valve does is when you turn off the blower water does actually enter the air pipes. The air pipes are connected to the water pipes through those gunite bodies, as we know. So when you turn off the blower, water will pass into those air pipes. If you don't have that check valve, it may flow back and into your blower, it will damage the coil and it will trip your breaker, as we've already mentioned. So it's really important to put that check valve in. So how do we connect it up? Well, in this particular instance, we're gonna take the union and, and the tailpiece. What I've done here is because this is a 32 millimeter tailpiece, I've actually whittled down the one inch pipe I have here. So that will slot inside. Next, I have a one and a half inch to one inch reducing bush. Now this is a one and a half inch check valve. So this will fit very nicely onto that one inch pipe. It will then slot into the check valve, I'll push all that and glue it all nicely in place. And there we have it, that will then screw onto the blower and you've got your check valve, you've got it nicely connected and you're ready then to use that blower in your DIY hot tub. Hope you found this video useful. See you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next video.